What's up everybody, today we're gonna be actually testing Die by the Blade which is a new game that came out on Steam and it's a fighting game so if you guys enjoy fighting games uh, then you can guys can go ahead and uh, look at this game or try it for yourself and then see if you like it or not. This is kind of a samurai game or ninja game uh, basically you have uh, three inputs up down and right so you can move your mouse for that and you can only click or right click. Okay, so it's just a heads and tails game in my opinion, but in today's video we're going to be actually testing out the game uh, on an RX 6600 GPU paired with the Ryzen 5 3600 and 16GB of DDR4 3200MHz RAM. As you guys can see right there, I'm getting like 80 FPS. So we are first going to see what graphics setting we are using, which we're actually using Epic settings. Anti-aliasing is TAA right now. We have the FXA and none option here and anti-aliasing is epic everything is towards the maximum I've turned on motion blur also because this is a fighting game it's a slow paced game so it's alright I think we can bear with it alright the rest of the settings are at 1080p currently full screen mode everything is turned off and 100% resolution scaling so let's head right into it we're at epic settings at 1080p we get like uh, close to 80 yes most of the times let's start counting the frames here uh, looks like this game this is a fighting game but it's not frame a dependent okay so some of the fighting games that usually come out have a dependency upon the frames so they usually just uh, give you 60 fps most of the times okay but this game is frame rate unlocked so if you guys can get the maximum amount of frame rate that's gonna benefit you still but uh, I think 60 fps is still fine for this game so add 100 fps right now lighting and the shadows look good the textures I cannot say the same for the textures maybe Chromatic aberration is kind of too much, so I'm gonna try to see if there is an option to actually turn them off. No, doesn't seem like it. Yeah, there is no option for chromatic aberration, so which is uh, which seems like it's too much in this game. Okay, maybe in other op other other settings in your documents, yeah, you can edit the files to actually change that. Okay, so all right, uh, now you're getting like 160 FPS average, so I'm gonna go to 1440p now. This is gonna be a very short video. We're just gonna test out the performance of it, and yeah, I'll be right back with you guys. All right, guys, we are at 1440p resolution now, full screen mode, and resolution scaling is at 100% right now at still epic settings. So yeah, let's just try to uh, fill the game, and seems like we're at 70 FPS, so still very playable. The game looks uh, kind of more sharp than 1080p, that's a given, that's gonna happen. But uh, still the textures uh, uh, of the of this character, of my character, are still not very good looking, in my opinion. Uh, comparing them to other games like Tekken 8 and Mortal Kombat 1 and Street Fighter 6, they, seems pre uh, they seem pretty outdated, these textures and these graphics, okay? So that's alright, we're still getting 70 FPS average, uh, let's try to move backwards uh, if I car if my character can actually dash or run no doesn't seem like it and uh, yeah so looking at this arena from this point like from afar I can see that the FPS is like dropping into the 59 58 55 most uh, sometimes it's dropping there so it's still pretty good looking and it's still very uh, the frame rate is still very good so it's not an issue yeah so getting 67 FPS average now let's go to 4k and let's try uh, the settings there Alright guys, we are at 4K resolution as you can see right here and VSync is turned off 100% resolution scaling at maximum epic settings possible. So let's see the game now. It's at 30 FPS, almost half of 1440p. That's expected so it's just normal working. Uh, yeah, so getting about 100% uh, GPU usage and about 34 FPS average, which is not good. I would say 60 FPS should be a minimum for any fighting game, whatever you play. But maybe it's gonna be fine for this game. I don't know. Now you guys tell me in the comment section below. Maybe 30 FPS is gonna be fine. So if it is, you can lock the frame rate down to 30 FPS and play this game if you wanna do it. But I'm gonna turn down the preset to high settings first. Let's apply it. Settings have been applied. And seems like we are now getting in the 40s, which is pretty smooth compared to 1080p. Uh, com uh, which is pretty smooth compared to 60 FPS. So it's getting like 45 right now so if I start counting the frames it's gonna be staying in the 40s I think let's go back move, try to move our camera back get a get a wider view of this arena and uh, let's see if we get some difference in performance yes indeed we do we get into the 36 37 so yeah let's turn the settings down further let's go to medium settings now let's apply this and it seems like medium settings with a wider view is giving like 70 to 80 FPS at 4K. 
Although I can see that the, uh, you can see the shimmeriness on the ground there. The, this, these wood textures and wood lines are kind of like uh, waving around when I'm moving my character. So that's not very good. Maybe they've changed the, maybe with the preset has actually changed the anti-aliasing settings also. Yeah, I think they have, uh, I think the settings do change that. Yeah. So I've turned the anti-aliasing to epic. Now, as you guys can see, although the frame rate has decreased, like it's halved already. What the heck? Is this actually upscaling? I think it is, guys. So let's try high here. Still the same. Let's go to medium back. Wow, now the performance is very less. Okay, something weird is going on with this. Okay, now the performance is not decreasing. Maybe the settings have worked itself or let's go to medium app, medium preset now. Oh, the performance is not changing. Let's go to low preset, okay? Uh, now we're at 144 FPS, which I think is the maximum for this game. And my GPU, my CPU is now a bottleneck. So yeah. I think you guys get the idea in this video that how this game is gonna run. You can run it at 4K medium settings uh, and more than 60s, or if you wanna try it for 1080p, 1440p, you can use maximum settings possible. So it's very easy to run. You can easily play the game on this on these specs and this hardware. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more content, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.